Hey, welcome back to the morning news. It's time for owning your outdoors and it is finally June and it's only just starting to feel like summer, which means a lot of us are really behind when it comes to getting the gardens planted, the, the crops planted, the uh, containers planted, Doug, and you have some quick and easy solutions for us this week. Yes. Sean, you know, uh, we're finally getting our May and June and uh, people are really behind. And uh, I'm asked all the time, how can I get a container put together? And we have a shorter season now. So I thought I'd go through a few things that I suggest to everybody uh, on an everyday basis in our garden centers. So you have very nice hanging baskets and uh, things already put together for folks. Yes, we do. Uh, and the easiest way to put a patio container together is to use a hanging basket. Uh, you can combine it with a thriller or whatever if you have a larger container. Uh, it's just a very simple and easy way. Just pop it out of the hanging basket container. I took the plastic off of this piece here and actually just take it out of the container, of course. Right. Pop it out, put it in there, and you have an instant patio container. Works perfectly. So you got some geraniums here. Yes, uh, I wanted to talk about calliope geraniums, one of my favorite plants. I've uh, experimented with them the last few years. What a calliope geranium, a hybrid is, is a cross between an ivy geranium and a traditional zona. And so we have actually one down there in that uh, container? Yes, uh, actually last year I had this out in front of my house. Uh, it's a large patio container, but it completely filled it out. And uh, the one thing I've learned about calliopes is do not overwater them. Let them get dry in between. If you overwater or have as much water as we just had, they will quit blooming. So they like it on the drier side. So it's really important to make sure you have drainage at the bottom of that right. container. Very, very important for drainage and very important not to maybe water daily at times. Let them get on the dry side. How about these impatience? Sun patients, uh, beautiful. They're variegated. Some patient, it's actually a combination, a cross hybrid between a New Guinea impatient and a wild impatient. You would look at that and Sean think shade, mm -hmm. full sun, full sun to partial shade. So once again, you can take something like this, pop it out of this container, put it in the planter, and you're done. You're set. You're ready to go. And I'm going to include a download, Sean, on all these plants that I've suggested today. Perfect. Doug Schroeder from Lewis, thanks so much. We have to take a quick break. We'll be back with FastCast right after this.